Hey folks, exercise number three is about animating a falling brick. Try to focus on the solid drawing and slow in, slow out principles of animation when attempting this exercise. As always, I like to record my own reference material with multiple brick drops. If you can't find a brick, try a heavy book that you find at the library. When you get back to your animation software, slowly scrub back and forth so you can analyze the motion in the reference video. Pay close attention to the midsection of the drop when planning out fast movement because you'll need to space out these drawings considerably. This segment covers the rough pass. After building a layout sketch, my first pass is about getting something down so I can watch the movement. I'm not really worried about drawing in a 3D shape, it's more about getting the shape right so that the falling object looks like it has some sort of weight. The next segment focuses on making the shape solid. Make sure to have a brick on hand so you can draw it from the appropriate angle. If you can, try to draw it in perspective, making the planes closer to the camera larger. Planes of the brick further away from the camera are smaller. This is also a good time to focus on consistent volume. Don't worry about sketchy lines. The final pass is all about a lighter line weight, flipping back and forth, and using the onion skin feature to maintain volumes. I'll watch the movement repeatedly before I spend any time coloring. The hope is that the movement looks good as line work before you get into color. Let's have a look at all three passes side by side. This should give a good indication of the drawing quality. Each progressive pass is tighter, with more accuracy and volume. Now, let's have a look at all of the drawings. Notice that the group's at the beginning and at the end of the cycle. Close spacing creates slow movement, while large gaps speed things up. The end of the cycle matches the beginning because the drawings are clumped together. When you attempt this exercise, make sure to review slow in, slow out, because the spacing and number of drawings you create will help give you a sense of weight. The solid drawing principle of animation will help you make the drawings have a sense of volume. Alright, so I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.